glasses and behold the moon in 3D. It is simply incredible, folks. Just stunning. Unbelievable. Yes, now I've gotten into 3D processing and um, I've been taking a lot of um, picture of the moon through my telescope. I have a 8-inch uh, Smith Cassegrain uh, telescope and I've been taking a lot of picture with my Sony Alpha 6000. Um, now here's how I created this picture folks. I've taken a lot of pictures like I've mentioned before and after the great eclipse of North America, I think it was called, in August uh, of 2017. Now here's the picture I took of the eclipse. I was in the path of totality. Now, when I compared the full moon picture before and after the eclipse, look at the difference in size. But the moon, as it's going around, changes its face towards us. That's called libration. Have a look. This is a clip from Wikipedia. Notice over the duration of one month how the moon moves. This allows us to create a 3D image. Now, this is the most interesting thing, folks. Look at this. I captured these images with my telescope. I'm going to play this again, but notice those stars that will be pushed away when the moon moves. And notice the background, how it jiggles around. Simply incredible. Here we go. Here's the forward and reverse in higher speed. Notice how the stars in the background move independent of the moon. That is amazing, folks. Now here is an astonishing analysis of what we just saw. Notice the Earth shine part and the solar illumination. But the Earth shine is very uniform, which indicates the light source is a large uh, portion of the Earth, which indicates the moon is very close to the Earth. Now, the other astonishing thing that we saw were the stars were moving independent of the moon, which indicates the moon is inside the dome. And the dome has some ripples on it of unknown origin. Now I'm going to share with you a most amazing photo that the Russians took from on board the ISS. Have a look at this. This picture escaped censorship because the way it was taken, it was passed off as a uh, optical illusion. They said the moon is just visible through the haze of the Earth when in actuality the moon is in front of the earth, not behind it. Yes, folks, our world is very strange. There's a lensing phenomena that's occurring due to the gravitational field we're in, and objects are made to look larger, but they're actually closer. Very strange. In another video, I'm gonna deal with all this stuff. So I'm going to leave you guys now with this beautiful stereoscopic image of the moon. It's just incredible. I just, I've been staring at it for hours now. I'm just amazed. Anyway, thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for more. I'll be doing some gravitational experiments. You don't want to miss my commentary on gravity. There are a lot of mysteries out there, folks. So, check back soon and often. Take care, everyone. God bless.